All right, so after you have your rep wrap all put together, you're gonna have to go through uh, quite a procedure to calibrate it and get it all set up properly for printing. Um, at this point, I'm gonna assume that you've at least been able to actuate your step steppers using the software. So if we connect here and we can jog, at this point, um, we're pretty much set up, so we need to start by uh, leveling this bed here. So, um, and I'm actually not an expert either. This is my first rep rep, so these are some of my initial experiences um, and things that I thought that maybe needed to be explained. So, um, I'm by no means an expert, but I want you to know what I went through here. So when I put this on, I should have compressed these springs a lot more because it takes takes a lot longer to, to compress them down. What they say is you go ahead and compress them down till this plate is about two millimeters from the fender washer. So they're going to be most of the way compressed. And they're going to be a lot lot stronger when they're that compressed. So I'm going to start tightening them down. All right, so I have them mostly compressed. I used a measuring device to make sure they were pretty much the same, all four of them. You can see they're pretty close to the bottom. They're pretty tight, a lot of, lot of tension on them. I definitely didn't make it, uh, I made it about five millimeters from the fender washer, not too. and I got it as close to level as I possibly could. Uh, my workbench isn't completely level, so I'd move it around a little bit and it'd be a little bit off. I did it in all directions, just kind of as a starting uh, spot. It's nice to get that level. I also put a level on this bar for the, oh, whatever, whatever axis that is. After that, um, you pretty much just put the level aside because what you have to do is get the bed and so as it moves around it's always going to be the same distance from this bed so now we don't really care about the actual bubble level we just have to make everything very consistent so um, when you're starting you can just go up and you can grab these and manually turn them with your hand and get the uh, the z-axis and your print head down as close as you can to the surface. So another thing you're definitely going to want to take care of is setting your uh, limit switches on all of your axes. There's another one there. So that um, when you hit the home button on your uh, printer software it doesn't try to tear anything up. So I can go ahead and hit the other homes here. You'll see that it uh, switches uh, in a decent place for this to work properly. Okay. 
from an ohmmeter that beeps. We're adjusting the Z-axis uh, in stop here. Micro switch. If we go up. And it's about uh, a sheet of paper is about a tenth of a meter millimeter. So I have two of them. This is about um, 0.2 or 0.3 of a millimeter here. They were dragging pretty hard. Dang it. So I finally got it to where I can just put it a tenth of a millimeter off the bed. It pretty much holds it on all four corners of the bed. It's just really consistent. You adjust your Z limit switch so that whenever you hit the home, it goes down and it's just barely touching. If it's, uh, you don't want it to be very tight. Since we aren't using any uh, lock nuts, you might want to use some thread locker or my personal favorite is fingernail polish. It's a good light hold and it'll come off if you need it to. Adjust your output voltage by turning this tiny little trim pot. Be very careful with it because you can break that sucker off easy. Apparently I have cobwebs here. You can see I haven't gotten to calibration very soon. It's been a, quite a bear. <clears throat> so basically you turn those trim pots down all the way and then turn it on maybe like a quarter of a turn. Because um, you want to use as little voltage or current as, as you need to. That way your uh, motors will run cooler. Um, but if they're making funny noises, um, maybe there's too little voltage, so you can turn them up. Like for instance, this, this one right here, this driver is running two stepper motors. The two on top for the Z, so you might want to give this one a little more power than the other ones. It all depends on the type of steppers you have as well. As I put some blue painters tape on, I cleaned everything off, and it's working great for the PLA. I mean, it just pops right off. I don't ever have to touch it. It's working wonderfully.